What are we looking at here? What are we seeing? So this is series one and two in this display case up here. We've got, at the back which is falling apart because the tape hasn't been secured properly, <laughs> the Ninth Doctor's uh, explosive from Rose, you know, the uh, Rotten for Your Life. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, then uh, next to it is the tube, which is the anti-plastic. Anti -plastic, uh, See, this is my area. I know yeah, this. <laughs> yeah. And then behind that, which is behind this, I'll take that out. Uh, oh, behind the door. I'm safe. Um, <laughs> so I don't cover your screening. Yeah. Um, yeah, so we've got the ball from the Tardis, which he throws around a lot. Uh, so yeah, I didn't. I never noticed that until I found the picture of him, like in the blue room, and he's yeah, just holding and it. And he's and holding like, it. Oh, that was a really weird picture because he's just taken that off the console and is holding it. But yeah. he does hold it in the start of Father's Day when he's just like, I can do anything, but be careful what you wish for. And then this is from uh, Runaway Bride. Oh it's, yeah, we well, looks in Donna's yeah. eye for some reason, and then, yeah, and then she slaps him. Oh yeah, it's fine. classic. So this is the Tardis phone. Um, you know, Charlie Chaplin, Charlie Chaplin. You know, mixed in friction. Yeah, all that stuff. I, oh, I, I like. That you've added the little uh, I have. TARDIS. Uh, is that the TARDIS phone number? It is from uh, Journey's End. The, ah, the oh, pulling good. the TARDIS. That's a good detail. Um, then we've got the Cohenor Diamond, um, which is from. Uh, don't do this to me. Tooth and Claw. <laughs> tooth and Claw. The wages of the entire planet for one week. My mum would fight the wolf off with her bare hands for that. How did you make that? First Scribble of all. creature. Yes. Um, Dinky in it, just wire. I just, wire. I just wrapped w wire. Oh, that's heavy. I thought it was just gonna be light as a feather. No, but that's because I'm an idiot and think it's made out of pencil. I just wrapped wire around and around and around and it. around and around, and then I it worked it black. And that's, well. that's how the original prop was done, basically. Oh, so, <laughs> and then, of course, the David Tennant pop vinyl David from Tennant. School Reunion. <laughs> then this is from the TARDIS console, and so is this. Uh, this is just a hexagonal tea light holder, basically. <laughs> Put a candle in there. And uh, it should go that way. Fun right? fact. Fun fact. Uh, this is the head torch from Boomtown that Night Doctor's got on oh, at the start yeah, of the yeah, episode. Yeah. So he's got it flashing, and mm. um, it's when Nikki turns up. And <laughs> this is the psychic paper. Uh, this Very is, nice. This is what it actually is. What it? Oh. Dogs. I'm sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I know I'm. He knows I'm here. <laughs> Don't, uh, so actually, it's a driving license holder. Oh. Uh, originally, um, I'll show you. Hang on. I'll grab it. Stella. Donna. Donna. And it is actually psychic. You've made it psychic. It is. It is. I don't know what it's saying currently, Jack. <laughs> yeah, I don't know how to track text on the things. And then these are from Empty Child. Oh yeah, yeah. when he's looking at the uh, yeah. tube washer. Yeah. Mm. You want to buy a tube washer? I nearly bought one of those in a ch in a shop, didn't I, Gem? <laughs> but you said no. You told me off. <laughs> I didn't realize what was wrong. <laughs> well, they do work. Who? They are. They're really good binoculars, actually. <laughs> Rose's phone. It's a weird looking phone, isn't it? It is, it's a really funky Nokia. Rose, what are you doing, mate? Just get an iPhone together. 2005 iPhone. Just pop forward in time. Yeah, when you've got phone. a time machine, you can save your dead dad. And then, of course, the Vortex Manipulator. That's uh, fun. Which I made. Um, and it lights up, because of course it does. Yeah. And it actually can teleport you through exactly. time. Yeah, it's a fun fact. So, yeah, <laughs> so I, I, I spent ages working on this one. May I? Yes, yes of course. The batteries are dying. Oh, good. <laughs> But yeah, so that's that's obviously based on the first prop of it. But oh, and the, yeah, there's, there's the phone ones. bit, mm -hmm. which we gather it from from this particular model of phone. Fun fact. So if you happen to see this phone just on the floor in a dump, you can t you it's too can Samsung. make a vortex manipulator. Samsung, or Samsung like AG free. Samsung Sarah. missed a trick. They should have just sold this. Yeah, it's like started. it's actually a phone. And then that's it for series one and two. Then moving <laughs> downwards. Sorry, distracted. Oh, my... You can put it on if you want. Thank you. Like the back of it. <laughs> this is really nice. Don't look at the secrets. The secrets. <laughs> then we're moving down to series uh, three and four. The water pistol from Pfizer Pompeii. Yeah. Yeah, so that's there. Partners in crime, the glasses up top. The glasses are from uh, Utopia when he's making the, the uh, perception filter keys. Pocket watches, obviously. Unicorn and the wasp uh, Unicorn book. Unicorn and the wasp book. Like Death that. in the clouds. And then we've got uh, Martha's phone, which was then left on the TARDIS so the Doctor, you know, yeah, can yeah. call them. But also the phone appeared earlier when he's in the bar in Runaway Bride and he's taken someone's phone to check out HG <laughs> I like the comments. idea that Martha just stole it from the guy as well. <laughs> Martha, I don't know how that would work time-wise. Martha, Martha took it from that man. Thief! One Company Sonic, which is based on That's the very prop nice. from the later series. It doesn't work anymore, does it? Oh. Yeah. I did it up a bit. I gave it a bit more of a dark wash to show the crackle a bit more. Mm. Um, but it's, it's also knackered. Cracking time. An Addy Pose. Uh, stress toy, that's just for fun. This is a bit of TARDIS. Um, that's a bit of oh yeah, I always see them pop up on One of the boxes stuff. that my friend Matt gave me. Uh, the mouse from... Doctor's Door. Doctor's Door. Yeah, I'm getting some right. You know. That's what I'm here for. I'm just... <laughs> this I'm is just a test. I him. I wasn't going to clobber him. David Tennant met his wife. 
Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, oh god, this is from uh, Parts in Crime when he's looking at the Adipose uh, pill um. and he realizes he's alone in the TARDIS. Only yeah. bringing up the happy memories here. <laughs> oh yeah, you know when the Doctor realizes he's al- he's alone and he has no friends. Yeah, that's you know, why that... I have them to remind me of <laughs> yeah. things. Stethoscope, um, which Classic. was used in a lot of them. Another one of these. I just put them there for decorative reasons. <laughs> um, we've got Pudsey at the back. One's from 2007. Yeah, he so. was a companion for a while. He was. Well, it's, it's it's one of the ones that would have been. <laughs> I think photoshopped into David Tennant's pocket. Uh, I got these from Millennium Effects when I was there. So what this, is that? It's a screen used ood tentacle. No way, is it? <laughs> yeah. That's hilarious. Yeah. Oh. So it had fallen off of an ood whilst I was there, and um, I was walking around. And, I feel like I have to censor this. And, <laughs> and, and, and I was told I could keep it, so I was like, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you very much for my tentative. Can you imagine trying to do that anywhere else? Like, oh yeah, this bit of noodle fell off, but it's screen used. So these, um, when I was Sometimes. at... They are, yes. Oh, yes. So when I was at... Sorry, I <laughs> effects working there for like a week. It was work experience, so I wasn't fired. <laughs> <laughs> I, I realised I was like, that sounds dodgy. Uh, no, I was there and um, they let me... Um, uh, so I, they let me go into the storage section. Ooh, and nice. so I got to see all the screen used stuff they have. And in there I found some moulds for the insignias that were on the neck sections of the Sontarans from 2008 yeah and so um, then they were teaching me how to do casting and stuff later on and they said oh yeah um, we just need to find a mold I then went and I found thought you were about to say and I stole this from the warehouse <laughs> <laughs> and I robbed them no I, I, I found these I found the mold and I went yeah can we make this so they let me make myself some Sontaran signals from the original mold so I want to make them into fridge magnets at some point I think. then we move down to I'll turn on this light for you actually so we can... oh is there some lighting for the cabinet mm-hmm. yeah, that's the big one there. Series five through to the end. <laughs> <laughs> sort of shoved all in one. Yeah, it all went in Jeez, there. I swapped these with you, Jim. Oh, thank you. Nice. Mm-hmm. Yeah. This is the stuff bench. I'm more recognising. So I'm right. figuring out I'm more of a Smith fan than a Tennant fan. I've been Seemingly. outing myself. I mean, immediately my favourite's the thing in the back. That's huge! Yeah, this is the History of the Time War book, which is in fact an old Bible. Oh, um, is that this, what it was in the show? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, <laughs> this is this is accurate. This is Matt Smith's watch from series yeah. five. See, I've been trying. De- that's something I love to get screen accurate myself, just because it's so specific and he uses it all the time. And he's all. It's really rare. There's like me. Never mind <laughs> me. Like me, Doctor Who collector, and like I think three others maybe have one. And mine's a cheat technically. So I found the watch face. Right. I found the case and I found the band. What all separately? On different watches. Well, to be fair, that's that's a clever way of going about and it. And so I respect the hustle. And the thing is, it's all the same part, so it is the the watch. I went I, home the long way round, effectively. Reference. You can wear that if you want, Ooh, but it will yes. rip apart your arm. Oh dear. <laughs> it doesn't get any better. Matt Smith at a cost. Yeah. Yeah, take right. it off, son. You'll, 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 you'll regret it otherwise. I can say I did it. Yes, you have. You have done it. Did the thing. Keys from the lodger. <laughs> <laughs> That's I found James Corden's own. I found the key ring that he That's... has on his thing, and then I found the other keys that he had on it. <laughs> um, there's another key which I took off because it turned out the same type of key was my house key. Oh, and then every time you went to the door to lock and you had to go, I love you, I love you, yeah. I love you. Well, I'm your new lodger. This one's fun. The big friendly button. What is that? Is that 3D printed or is that yeah, just... Yeah, so I, yeah. I 3D printed that. Big friendly button. Yeah. You keep moving things I'm and so I can't sorry. like focus on it, your camera's so annoying. Okay, thanks Jack, that's very helpful. <laughs> <laughs> As you said, Journey to the Centre of the TARDIS, an episode I haven't rewatched in ages because I wasn't a fan. A shark eating Sonic? From the snow? I was nearly going to say yeah. the snowman. From Car- A Christmas Carol? It is. It's missing its leather. Oh, that's heavy. Yeah, so when I was at Nick's, he, he gave me all the parts to make one. Oh, right. And I just never got around to it until like, like a candle. Years. Yeah, yeah, well, it was it's all resin and stuff, so it's just sort of been taken down. But Very nice. Yeah, it's... So and the other half's obviously in the shark. It's exactly. green accurate. You fed it that's, to a shark. That's in the torture room, the shark pit. And then <laughs> I like how torture room's Christ- a running gag. <laughs> <laughs> this is also from the Christmas Carol. Oh, of course, yeah. Hello. Hello. Pop, oh, like it's the way way around, son. Oh. Hello? <laughs> no, no wonder I couldn't hear you. <laughs> this is just proving that I'm an idiot. So this is actually a book light. Um, Clever. And they used the book oh. light on the original, and so then I um, I copied it, obviously, and then you add on all these wires and stuff. It's really easy to make at home. The Siege Cube, which is from Flatline. Of uh, course. So this is the Jumping up one. a few seasons. We did, season eight. Rubber Toe made these, and yeah, I, was gonna say. I made a few of them when I was at his for work experience, so he got me casting up these. They're just cold cast with a bit of ink rubbed into them. Oh, again? Wow, the Yeah, way. solid resin. So well, yeah. Very nice. Look at that. 
It's a cube. <laughs> but it's a special TARDIS cube. You can grow it. It's like you put that in the water and it grows a TARDIS. <laughs> Doctor's wife cubes back there. Is this a not... photo frame thing? Yes, it is. That is what they <laughs> actually are. They are paper chase acrylic photo frames. Brilliant. And, and you could, anybody could get these. That's yeah, great. They're, on, they're always on Facebook Marketplace. So they're from Paper Chase. There you go. Uh, and so we were in Paper Chase. Paper chase. And so effectively, they, they come apart like this. And then you glue them back together, oh, yeah. oh, yeah. and then you put a light in the middle, and that oh, gives you that fun. The, that gives you the original prop. A lot of these things you can pick up for nothing. You know that key ring cost me, you know that, and the Seconda ones popped up for like twelve pounds. This one's from Rabbitoh again. So whilst I was there, he gave me parts of uh, Twelve Doctor Sonic. So that's. Oh, I was going to say I was trying to figure out which one. That's very nice. Yeah, so that's the lower cage bit of a Twelve Doctor one. Um, following on then we've got the vortex manipulator it's from straw there yeah that's how they came that's how he just he just went yep straw boxes that's the very nice ever so ones oh that one's actually got buttons yeah that one's that so one. it's automatically better than the one on screen yeah well it was on screen so oh. rubber toe uh, the original prop went missing and <laughs> rubber toe then made john barrowman stole it let's be honest things <laughs> i'm trying to disprove people are going oh yeah and i'm like no alex kingston wore it for several seasons after john left v vortex manipulator is the same prop from series one miracle day made some new props mm. so john uh, has one of these but he doesn't have um oh, okay the original prop just it's well, cool. now we know. And so, yeah, all the props after that, from the Day of the Doctor onwards, have been made by Nick Robato. Well, Robert Ho replicas, at least. And yeah, they're like this. Though, most of them are... They made the first one for the episode first, and then they started making replicas. So the replicas appear in Magician's Apprentice and Fugitive of the June. Oh, OK. Clara's wearing one of these. God, you know so much. It's hurting my brain. <laughs> well, I suppose it is kind of... It comes with the job, almost, Yeah. Doesn't it? You kind of have to know everything Well, the Vortex Manipulator is my, like, baby of a, of a, of a prop. Uh, That's the one I, I know about. <laughs> Hence why there's a whole Torchwood section here. Yeah. We've swapped cameras. Mine was dying. <laughs> We're seeing if mine does any is any better. Um, right, so just finishing off, we've got the rubber toe 11th Doctor Sonic screwdriver. Oh, very nice. Um, which doesn't work. <laughs> I made this when I was on work experience with him. Oh, um, so you made that one? Yeah, so he basically gave me the parts from his reject drawer, which is why they're all scuffed. Oh, that's nice. Um, and so he just went, yeah, okay, you go off and make that. And and so I did, but I, I've never gotten around to properly putting electronics in. It's, it's a mess, basically. And if I flick it, there's a metal will fly off because it's not actually fixed on. Oh, dear. <laughs> <laughs> the MFX Sonic, which was um, a replica originally, but then it was used by uh, David and Dare the Doctor. What, that one specifically? Not this particular Oh, I was going to say, however, oh my god. <laughs> however, this one uh, was the one that features in the Dalek Universe 2 trailer. I uh. gave them all the images, so this, this one's floating in front of David Tennant. So it floats in front of him. It floats in front That's of him. That's pretty good. And David Tennant speaks over the top of it, and I'm like, yes. And, and then, uh, oh, I can't tell you about that, actually. <laughs> Something else in here is, is, is to be used in Big Finish. Classic Who, we've got... Um, here we've got the, so this is the fourth Doctor's magnifying glass from Genesis of the Daleks. We've got two fourth Doctor yo-yos. That one's from Robot. Uh, and then that one's his general. The other one, do you want to put them down so you can just zoom in? Oh yes. Mm -hmm. 1080p. I know. Donald Duck one, uh, which is just seen on the table in Robot Waste Empty's pockets. And then that one's used for most of the other time, like when Leela's using it and so on. Ferric beam locator. It's very firm. Um, <laughs> And uh, yeah, so that one's from Genesis and Talons of Weng Chiang. That one actually is just in there, but it should really be down there. It's the uh, Missy style D mat circuit that my yeah, friend. Yeah, I was going to say, one of my favourite thing in there is that yeah, D circuit. My friend Christopher made that for me. These are coasters. So this coaster's from Rubber Tie. I made this when I was there. Um, it's just <laughs> you got cool busy class. when you were there. I know. How long was the work experience? Uh, it was a week I was there, and then I went back for a week again when we did the fourth Doctor Sonic screwdrivers, because we did the replicas of the fourth. Doctor Sonic and I did the prototypes for those. The recorder is at the back. Very yeah. nice, just getting the focus. <laughs> <laughs> That's the quality content people subscribe yeah. for. Yeah. I can't actually play it, so it's just like. <laughs> Come on, you can't even do three blind mice. <laughs> three deaf mice by the end of this. <laughs> do you take requests? <laughs> yeah, shut up. Sarah Jane's owl from the Hand of Fear. Um, this is the one she's holding at the end. It's from Arlesford Crafts or Arlesford. I think I never remember which way around it is. It also appears in ET. Does it? When ET is hiding in the cupboard, there is one of those owls behind him. And then besides that, we've got this, which is a seal of Rassilon, uh from Time Fracture. 
Um, that was made for the, the Time Lords. And then we've got the Jamie McCrimmon badge given to me by Fraser Hines. Um, when I first met him at a convention. That was my first first met him. That was the first time I'd met anyone. That was my first con. How many dogs you actually do you think you've met? Too many. <laughs> I genuinely, like, uh, I had a summer when I was 14 where I went round London stage doors. And I must have got everyone by that point. I genuinely, <laughs> like, I'm only missing Freema. Um, from the new series Companions and Karen. Well, she does quite a few compa- uh, companions. I know, I was meant to see both of them at Wales Comic Con. <laughs> oh, yeah. Suddenly, God intervened. And so this is the first Sonic I ever made. Oh, is it? Yeah, this is number one. It was meant to be a Pertwee style one. It is made of stainless steel rather than aluminium because... I was going to say, I, p- I tried to pick it up a second ago when you weren't looking. It's heavy. It's a heavy boy. It is heavy. It's not got a spring in it at the moment. And this bit has been put in because I lost the screw from here. But yeah, it is very heavy. They've gotten better since, but it was very nice to start off with. After that, that's it. Basically done. I mean, There's a nice hat. That's Indiana Jones's hat. That was made by the same company um, that made his original hats for the films. Very nice. They also made Tom Baker's hats for Doctor Who. All, all of I was going to say, it looked a bit like Tom's as well. Yeah, so same st- same style. He's had a wider brim, basically. Same material, I think, though. So, yeah. Then you've got a nice big thing here. Big in the behind. Kind of suits you, actually. Does it? Yeah. I'm not a big hat guy. I don't know. I don't know. I don't know. I love hats. I love hats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> um, nice. She's so out of focus. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ties. And then I oh, might as well do a little sort of scan with all these TARDISes. All these. Oh, got that one. Got that one. Now we got that one. Now we got that one. Now we got, got that one. And then pop vinyls. Yeah. The world famous pop vinyl. Target books behind them. Oh, yeah. It's most of the Target books and some other ones, but I've got most of the sort of early ones. I get a bit ropey around the Fifth Doctor era. Lego TARDIS. Very snow. Yeah, <laughs> the Avengers. Well, sort of. New like, mug. Get a good shot of the new, new mug. mug. <laughs> Cause there's so many books. So many books. Show my alcoholism. Alcoholism. <laughs> yeah, yeah, very good. Family friendly. Mummy and daddy juice for later. It's a big finish. I'm seeing the tortured books down there. Uh, Doctor Who magazines. Not that you can. I don't know why I'm looking at these. You can't even really see them. Yeah. Every Doctor Who fan has lots of these grey mm-hmm. and colourful things. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> Tucked away. Above that is the TARDIS radio on top of that. Um, that's an accurate McCoy umbrella. You just needs to have the handle replaced. <laughs> Quick jam, get it. <laughs> and then just. It's got the Torchwood logo on it, of course. Yeah, it's still a work in progress. I need to finish off the. I need to obviously fill it. Yeah, actually, that's why I'm here for. You're going to chop my hand off and put it in. That's in the torture room, the guillotine. Yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. Smaller one for arms. How does this keep coming up? <laughs> well, you've got, you've got to talk like this because you're just going to. Oh, I'm so oh, sorry. you want me to point at them, do you? No. Well, you can if you want sorry. to. Not here for you, James. We're here for the tie for shot. The stuff. <laughs> oh, that's why I brought her. I should turn the mic on. That'd be it's clever. Done. Oh, and of course, what we're here to see, the exercise bike. It, well, this is a stepper, actually. So oh, see, see me. Facts right. <laughs> Look at that. She's an idiot, Clearly. Oh, uh, yeah, this is my table, which was meant to become another dog. <laughs> so when you stopped that project, you just made it a table? This is this is where the man has happened. It just feels like Torchwood I'm in now. Yeah, like Torchwood well, hub. This is this is going to be the, the set for Rebirth, effectively. Oh, is it? This, this, this area will become... Um, a bit torchwoody, hopefully that was the aim. But for now, it is where I work. So we've got a 3D printer, a uh, pillar drill, lathe, seem to have a sonic in it. Um, we've got, uh, so this is the machine you make sonic on. This is the sonic Oh, machine. this is the sonic machine. So effectively. So if you want one of your own, everybody. <laughs> yeah. I feel threatened. Cut in with that and it makes shapes. <laughs> It's all I got. <laughs> it's a machine that spins around. What's these bits here? This... It does it really well though. So... What's these here? Oh, these are um, the Warmaster's laser screwdriver uh, emitter sections and stuff. Ooh. Put that together there. Here. Right, I'll take you out. Here. You just... <laughs> 
<laughs> You're just putting them together. I'm putting them together as we speak, yeah. He's got a gun, he's got a weapon! What's that? A knife! No! <laughs> oh god, there's a box of your dresser. I don't really want to dox you. I mean, yeah. if I have to, I will. But, you know, ideally. Look at that. Get them together. Come on. That's so cool. Get my life together. Okay, I'm gonna start in a minute. Can I get in there in a minute? Yes, of course. Yes. <laughs> get on the phone to Ikea. They should get make a Dalek table. They should. It is actually a genuinely very useful table. Well, there we go. Effectively, that's a War Master Sonic in progress. That's brilliant, though. And so it needs to have this weathered up. because so it look like that. That's already been weathered. Scott Hancock from Big Finish, the director of the War Master box sets, commissioned one of these for us. Um, and so me and my friend Sonic Bolt and Ter uh, Cybernetic did this. So yeah, the, 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 the lower half is all from the trans temporal sonic toy that was released by character options he just photoshopped that <laughs> so on so if you have one of those toys you can make it too exactly i see another sonic hidden on the shelf back there oh yeah there's loads um, they just dotted around yeah there's one there like there's where's one wally there. One there. It's all, all junk. It's all junk. And then yeah. just this. Yeah. <laughs> I thought you said that to me and then I was and like, then, <laughs> Is that the communicator from that River Song uses? Uh, sort of. It's the uh, communicator from the Angel two parter from Series 5. Ah. The uh, made him say comfy chairs. You know, Angel Bob. My friend owns the screen used one. Oh, so really? he, he gave me all the measurements and stuff from it and uh, gave me a bunch of nice pictures of it. My spacesuit collection. <gasps> the screen accurate glove used for the first, you know, the, the, the two-parter and they were used in 42 and then Capaldi ended up wearing them as well. These are the ones that were then used in Waters of Mars instead. Okay. Um, and then Matt Smith also used them in Hyde but then they went back to those for later on. This is the bolt gun. Ooh. So this became the bolt gun that Rose uses, you know, go to hell at the end of the episode and blows open the, the glass. It's actually a PlayStation 1 light gun. <laughs> is it actually? That's uh, great. So they used that. It was also, uh, they used this for another prop in Long Game. It's one of the gun that they're using for the rebel when he's like, you're actually this rebel. And, she's, and he's like, liar. And the helmet, which is actually a welding. Uh, oh, very so cool. They have that and then they add on the... Uh, no, no, that side. They add on these bits onto the side, which then makes it that. Oh right, is that like, is that again? Is that three D printed? Yeah, these are all three D printed, uh, so then it looks. Oh, I see. Yeah, now it's yeah, coming together. Now, now I'm seeing it. Well, it's airtight. Oh. So you need to have a ventilation pack, which he has on his back, otherwise it, you can't breathe in it. I am spaceman. <laughs> now I'm ready to go to the water to Marsh. Right, you struggle to breathe in that yeah. thing. You can't breathe in it. Yeah. I don't know how David did it. Well, ventilation. All the Cybermen are in the rafters. James is currently climbing, and he's. <laughs> I imagine like two arms come down, grab you, and you just get pulled all the way up. <gasps> Good luck, James. What's he doing? <laughs> And that's the last we saw of James. I guess we'll have to take the Dalek. Oh, well. <laughs> ah! oh! <laughs> Just hanging out with the Dalek. Oh, look at him. She's so cute. Oh, here. That's a good look. Okay, Alright, hold on a tick. Alright, I'm, I'm at the ladder. Which way? Oh, my Jesus. God. Jesus Christ. <laughs> <laughs> there's more. Oh, there's more. Okay. Off it. Look at this over. We've got a box. We've got a box. Oh my god. How big is the box? Oh, and there's another of the newer ones. Yeah. Very <laughs> nice. Let's see. Let's see this over here so you can get a better shot. So that's, is that uh, the first one you passed down? Is that Tomb of the Cyberman? Yeah. And there's this guy. Oh, oh this is the one of Dobson. Excellent. Put it back in. Back. Oh, oh, quick, that one. Jack. Ah. I'll give him. Excellent. The back. <laughs> Very important. Oh, wait, hang on. The suit broke, actually. Oh, oh, no. That is not excellent. Plus, we'd never actually get you out of the wetsuit if we put you in it. Fair enough. Uh, I'll hold it. I've got you. Don't worry, I'm really strong. Thank you. We need a better system, really. Ideally. Signature. Ooh. I'm just getting stared out by the Cyberman. What is it, David Banks who does the voice? Excellent. Oh yeah, you mean in... Oh yeah, in the... Yes. Uh, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> Aha! Doctor! Doctor! <laughs> we'll destroy the Ballon Burger. That's <laughs> thing. I think it's someone called Custom Who Props. He's doing yeah. a Cyberman gun at the moment. Oh yeah, yeah, I know. You've got to get one of those. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> Mr. Cyberman. <laughs> My lady. Cyberman? Perry the Cyberman! I'm in love with all these props. I know, there's too many of them. And really, there's only one thing left to do. The Dalek. This guy. Ah, well, that's terrifying. <laughs> Shout out to Colin. Come and meet your friend Delta. So the last one I got in Colin, it was also a chair. So I assume this is just the way to get in a Dalek. This is the way. It's got a mahogany seat, so. Ooh, that's snug. See this time, because I was on grass last time, so this time I'll hopefully be able to roll around. Oh god, okay, here we go. Fine. How am I supposed to master the universe from in here? Can't do that. There we go. Alright, and <laughs> number two. That's brilliant. <laughs> My skirt is falling down. Into the back. Move it round here. It's really bumpy. <laughs> How do they do it? How do they control everything at once? Well, the head's actually now on remote control. Oh, really? Uh, an RC thing. Oh, okay. Yeah, oh, see, another one I want to get in contact with is Barnaby Edwards. <laughs> Be honest, James, does everybody ask to go in the Dalek? Well, I don't have anyone round. Even ramps are just not happening. It's harder than it looks. <laughs> Earthling, what is your function? Oh, not very much these days. That's there. depressing. <laughs> yeah. This upsets the Daleks. <laughs> Just, uh, hello. Hello. <laughs> Earthling detected. Who are you? Gemma. You're pretty hot. <laughs> Daleks have game. I don't think I ever. I've ever been complimented by a Dalek. I hope not. Stop, stop. <laughs> Blinded you. 